Yo, yo, guys, what is up? It is Sterno coming at you with a brand new video. And today, I'm going to show you guys pretty much the best calculator for high school. Like, actually, guys. Okay, this is the Casio FX 300 ES Plus, guys. Um, I'm a junior right now in high school, guys. Three years high school. And I've been in two algebra classes and one geometry class so far. Next year, I'm taking um calculus so yeah for calculus this is not a good calculator because uh like you want to use a you like you want to get a graphing calculator for that but for this bro this is solid for your first three years of high school when you have geometry and out and a lot of algebra and by the way chemistry also uses these scientific calculators pretty often also in biology like a little i think so here we go all these suggested courses and then, yeah, they have algebra, geometry, trigonometry is very, trigonometry, like, you pretty much need it for every single trigonometry problem. That's, um, you're going to do a lot of trig during your sophomore and junior years of high school. So, okay, let's unbox this. Hold up. Here's the back part. So, like, I'm going to show you guys like why this is the best calculator for high school i'm just gonna open this up i didn't um okay let's figure it out let's figure it out guys get my scissor real quick okay. i don't have those fancy exacto knives that those youtubers have guys but those other youtubers but um we will make it work, guys, because, you know, that's, that's just what you got to do, you know? Uh, yeah, so, pretty much as a paper for the function, so, I think, I think this is the paper for the all the functions. Um, okay, they have the user's guide in Spanish and in English, so... Yeah, it pretty much tells you how it works. So, I mean, like, if you guys, like, really are really interested in that, not, uh, you could do that, I guess. But when I use calculator, I just listen to what my teachers tell me to do with them. But look at this, guys. Okay, so there's also a version of this without the solar power. But, um, like, I used to have, yeah, like, I got this because I have this same calculator, right? It just didn't have the solar power. And um, I just lost it, right? So... Because I freaking lent it to someone and he forgot to give it back to me and he lost it. But whatever. Like, that's why I rarely lend any of my school stuff to people. Like, uh, pencils. It's like, I, I just stopped lending people pencils. I just told them I have one. But, you know, I usually have like 10 in my backpack. So, yeah, they just give you, you know, how to initialize it and stuff. So, it's a cover, slide out cover, like that. But you guys see how thin this calculator is? That's what I also like about this. So here's the main thing, guys, because I'm in because I'm in algebra two right now. And the calculators that you that you can borrow in class, I don't like them because uh to like do fractions and stuff, like you put like seven or whatever, then you press divide and it makes your fraction sign, but and like like it doesn't have a fraction function like this. You see where you can visualize the functions like that. You see? And then you can also simplify them 8 over 4. You simplify them 1 over 5. Um, like the thing with the calculators, with most of the calculators that you just borrow in class, it's like, since there's no like fraction function and stuff, like I feel like it messes up the uh, PEMDAS operation thing. So like you have to manually do some of this stuff before you put in the calculator. But this one you can just plug in like in like an entire, like an entire equation into it. And then you guys see, this one's solar. So, yeah, guys. The one that I had before, um, like, a, like a week ago, I had it for three years before it got lost. So, yeah. The batteries on this will last very long. So, just show you general functions. You can do shift. Uh, hold up. Let me show you guys. Like, if you guys are doing trig, press shift, sign minus one. 
you know, and then you put it up. Um, oops. Like, how does it go? Like, 10 sine 40 divided by 8 or something like that. And then you don't forget to close parenthesis. And you get the value right there, you see? So, and like, I just like the layout. And also the thing is that, I my favorite part is that you can, again, you could just visualize the fraction. And then also that there's more like uh, screen space. As you can see, there's like three, there's like, uh, there's like three rows of digits, of digits that you can fit down here. So that's how you can make the fractions. And then when you make the exponents, it just looks clean as well. You see, it just looks clean. With other calculators, it's only they only have two rows of space for numbers, and then when you make the exponent, like it just looks really. It makes the numbers even smaller. You know, it's like okay. So like you guys know how this fraction thing is vertical, right? On most other calculators, the ones at school, it's like four, and then they, it's like a slash and one. To me, that doesn't look very nice. And then when you put the exponent, it kind of makes it look confusing. And then it makes the font of the numbers smaller, which I, I really don't like the look. But this is just a clean all-around calculator. It's pretty much all you need for your first three years of high school. And then you're going to have to get a graphing calculator. Next year, guys, when I'm a senior, I'm I'm most definitely going to make a graphing, graphing calculator unboxing. I'm going to show you guys what the best graphing calculator to get is. By the way, guys, this calculator, I got this, I got this from Walmart yesterday for $13. The non-solar version, I think, is only $10, but I suggest to get the solar version just because, you know, what if you're that guy who has bad luck and you have the one without without the solar power and you're taking the ACT or the ACT or the SAT and it just runs out of battery while you're testing and you don't have a backup calculator. That's just messed up, bro. So, anyway, in the back, solar cell and battery. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to my insight on this calculator and uh, link in the description to buy. And uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.